Hey yo, E King's Fight News, back at it. Barry Hearn admits Joshua is unknown in the U.S. and he advised them to wait two years before stepping in the ring with Deontay Wilder. That's right. More on this. Did y'all see this interview? Barry Hearn. And this is basically the head of match room. I mean, Barry's really, you know, as much as he wants to say and he's running the business and he's probably doing the day-to-day -day shit, but Barry Hearn, if, if he feels like Anthony Joshua should wait for two years, and that's exactly how he felt. And guess what Joshua's doing? He's sitting the sidelines. He ain't saying shit about Fury. Deontay Wilder, except for the fact that he said he was willing to get in with Tyson Fury. He said, hey, I'll fight Tyson Fury in April if he doesn't fight Wilder. You gotta hear that? He said it. So you know, this is, this is a big fight. If AJ wants to fight, it's a big, big fight. And it's like I said on the chat room, shout out to World Breaker. Um... This, this Deontay Wilder Tyson Fury fight, it surpasses Joshua Pavekin. It's it's the fight to see. And that's just how it is, man. Ain't nobody ain't nobody trying to hype up Joshua Pavekin, man. Ain't nobody doing video. Yeah, people are gonna start doing videos a week or two before the fight. That's it. That's it. It's gonna get one of those uh the, one of them quick hypes and shit. <laughs> well, all of a sudden, everyone's gonna be talking about, oh, it's Joshua Pavekin. One week out and shit. Like, but Barry Hearn really, I mean, he, he let it all hang out, man. He, he, he said everything. He confirmed everything we've been saying over here at E King Fight News. And, and we're just getting started, man. More on this. So Barry Hearn, man, I have felt caught up with him, and basically asked him, you know, what, what's with the, what's with the, all those negotiations with Shelly Finkel? You know, you, you're the point person in terms of the guy that was talking with him. And, and Barry Hearn, Barry Hearn was what, said he was so shocked that Shelly Finkel wanted to make this fight so quickly. He wanted to make that the next available fight. In September 22nd, he wanted that. What that was supposed to be the date for Joshua Wilder. And Barry's like, "Hey, you don't want to wait? You, you don't want to wait for two years?" <laughs> it's like, "No, let's make it happen, man." And y'all see, that's just a different mindset because Barry Hearn's sitting here thinking this could be made, made with a Pacquiao, thinking, "Oh my goodness, you know, we, you know, it's the difference between." You know, 400,000 buys or, you know, a million in the U.S. And, and, and then he said, hey, nobody knows Anthony Joshua in the U.S. He said, Anthony Joshua is a virtual unknown in the United States. Hey, hey, man, what, what, what did I try and tell you guys, UK haters, man? What the fuck did I try and tell you guys? I told you nobody knows Joshua. Did I tell you that shit? They call him Anthony Johnson in that NBA game, man. Who the fuck is Anthony Joshua, man? Anthony who? Pavek and who? Man, get these two guys the fuck out of here, man. For real. For real, for real. So Barry Hearn out here fucking <laughs> basically, man. Basically, man, he gave up the whole game plan, man. He gave up the whole game plan. He's waiting for 2020 on that Wilder tip, man. He's waiting for 2020. And what can you really say about it, man? What can you really say? This dude admit Josh was an unknown in the U.S., so that's why he didn't want to take the fight. So many fucking excuses. It's insane. 
He said, oh, it seemed like Shelly Finkel wanted to cash out Deontay Wilder. <laughs> first, first and foremost, he said Shelly Finkel, he was so shocked they wanted to make the fight next. It felt like he wanted to cash out Deontay Wilder. And then he was saying, oh, oh, but I don't think they really wanted the fight. Oh, they didn't really want the fight. Like, get the fuck out. The other one, the person that doesn't want the fight is your bitch ass. It's this guy right here. He didn't want the fight. He wanted to wait two years. That's why he told AJ. He said, oh, man, I told AJ. Hey, AJ. AJ, if you want to retire, if you're going to retire in six months, hey, take the fight. But if you're in this for the long haul, this AJ's in his fucking 20s. What is he going to say? If you're in this for the long haul, you're going to make way more money, AJ. You're gonna make a hundred million, AJ. You gotta do his weight. <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, what? He's making ten. He's making about ten million for Pavekin, something like that. Maybe fifteen. Wilder's gonna make twenty against Tyson. Man, you already know, man. AJ, a juicy J. Man, that boy, I mean, at the end of the day, he's be, he's built something pretty, pretty good in the UK. I mean, you can't, you can't hate what, what he's doing in the UK, because he, he's, the, he's the main man over there. He's the guy that everyone's looking out for. He's not on, he's on top over there, but when it comes to the global scene, when, when it comes to the likes of Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, and Luis King Kong Ortiz, man, this dude, this dude will get beat up by every, each and every one of them, man. And I think, I think the only guy he really has a chance to beat is Tyson Fury. AJ Tyson Fury is a great fight, and, and we probably we'll probably get to see that fight. I wouldn't be surprised. If AJ tries to fight Tyson Fury, even if he loses to Deontay Wilder, I'll tell you that much as well. And that will take a heck of a lot of luster off that fight, but I wouldn't be surprised if, if the Hearns tried to make it. I wouldn't be surprised. But man, Barry Hearns, man. Y'all gotta check out that interview, man. I'll put a link in the description. IFL TV caught up with Barry Hearns. And Barry Hearn told us pretty much what we've been saying this whole time. AJ doesn't want the fight. AJ's stalling Wilder out. He's gonna wait. He's gonna wait till 2020, thinking Wilder might, you know, might slow down a bit. Might, may, might break another hand. Who knows, man? Maybe he's waiting on a fucking injury. I, I really don't know. But Team AJ, man, they're cowards, man. They straight, they straight cowered away from Deontay Wilder in, in 2018. And now what? They're going to fight Dillian White next. Dillian White with no build. They're, they're going to fight Dillian White like he's earned a rematch. Man, get him the fuck out of here, man. I swear, at minimum, they better match up Dillian White with Jarrell Miller. And at least have a little elimination belt. Because honestly, I, I do not want to see Dillian White fighting Anthony Joshua off the strength of beating bum-ass Joseph Parker. I'm sorry, that guy Joseph Parker, man, I lost all respect for this dude, man. I lost all respect for this dude, man. He might as well come out and fight fucking Luis Ortiz and let Luis Ortiz show him how to how you do Joseph Parker, man. Because all these guys would knock him, knock him the smooth out, man. Knock him the fuck out. That's just facts, man. Shit, that's just facts. Alright, y'all know what it is. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon. And support us on Patreon, man. We're out.